so now let's move on to how I'm doing um, after six weeks since giving birth. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I did give birth by C-section. So um, I labored and I was induced and labored for about 36 hours before deciding after basically just a really slow progression and my body just not being able to continue, um, deciding that a C-section was best. So if you want, you can watch my labor and delivery story or my labor and delivery vlog and you can um, see more details on that. But overall, mentally I am doing really good, better than I expected really. Um, I don't know, I just kind of thought that postpartum time would be really hard for me, but it's actually been way, way better than I expected. Emotionally, I am doing really well. Um, I definitely had a few days of like the baby blues where I just like cried and I didn't know, well, I kind of would know why I was crying. Like ultimately it was because I was so happy um, that I would just cry because I was just so grateful that everything, like Ray was here and that she was healthy and all that stuff. Um, but I also cried a lot in the first couple weeks because I was just so worried about anything happening to her, like her getting sick or I don't know, even like thinking about her in the future getting sick or like, you know, when she's older and she's playing and she falls and breaks her arm or something like that. I was just totally um, being a little worry war and thinking way ahead into the future and just <laughs> being... I don't know, just worrying about stuff that like I can't control nor has it even happened or will it happen? I don't know. So I definitely have had I've been on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster but not nearly as bad as I kind of expected to be. For some reason I just thought just based off of like other people's experiences, what they've told me, I just thought it would be like a really hard <laughs> time but it's been pretty smooth for me and it's funny too because sometimes I will get really emotional thinking about her growing up and I'll be all sad that she's like growing out of her newborn diapers or whatever and then I'll also be like really happy and if she wasn't growing I would be super nervous about that so it's like I'm like don't grow up but grow up and also like I get really excited about thinking about her being a little older and the things that we can do together. So it's just like, like I said, just an emotional roller coaster ride. So physically I'm doing great. Um, recovery was a lot easier than I expected as well, as far as physical recovery. Um, well, I guess, okay, so after I had my C-section, I talk about this in my labor and delivery story, but um, it was rough. Like because I had labored for so long and then had a C-section, my body was just shot. And so the first like couple days, um, and there were some issues with like getting me the right medications. Anyway, um, for the first couple days, it was way rough and I was in a lot of pain and was very frustrated um, that I was gonna have a rough um, recovery. Um, but we got things sorted out and by the time I got home from the hospital, my recovery was pretty speedy and pretty good. The first week was hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and you definitely have to take it easy and just like, I had to let everyone do stuff for me. Um, but after that first week, I, I think by like day nine, I really started to feel like myself again, like normal. Um, I, I didn't have to be on any medications anymore, any pain meds. Um, but yeah, so I think by day nine, or 10, I was like, oh, this is what it's like to feel normal and not like sore and just like you're recovering from a major surgery. So um, since then it's been, I haven't had any issues really with like the incision or just recovery in general as far as physical recovery goes. I will say though that my incision area does feel a little bit numb or like tender and kind of sensitive sometimes but my doctor said it's totally normal. Um, so it, it's just like weird. It doesn't, it's like, especially the numb feeling, like I, it feels numb there still. It's just weird, I don't know. So if you're new to my channel and you didn't follow me when I was pregnant, um, you may not know that I got very, very swollen when I was pregnant. And 
Um, it was just out of control. But I, I didn't ever get preeclampsia, but I kind of was on the borderline of it. But anyway, um, so my swelling went down really fast. Um, by the time I got home from the hospital, my swelling had pretty much gone down. Um, and then it took probably like two weeks for me to feel like, oh, I think my swelling is gone. The only thing is I have, um, the swelling is still kind of there in my fingers because they still feel a little tingly and it's been six weeks. So I'm hoping that eventually will go away. Um, I also got carpal tunnel while I was pregnant and that has not gone away. So especially my wrist, like in some ways I feel like it's gotten worse, which is so frustrating because like I'll go to like pick Ray up or I'll like be holding Ray and be trying to do something with my right hand and it just like, it'll hurt really bad. Like I'll get like a twitch of pain, but I don't know. We'll see if that goes away. I'm really going to give myself like two, three months um, and just hope that by then everything, like all the tingly uh, numbness in like my fing fingers and the carpal tunnel pain will be gone. So I'm going to give myself some time, but I am very glad that overall swelling is gone because I look in the mirror now and I'm like, oh, I look a little bit more normal. <laughs> as far as my bleeding went, um, I stopped bleeding at around four weeks postpartum um, and then have just been spotting since then. So at my six week doctor's appointment, I did decide to do birth control. So he did an IUD and that caused me to spot for a few days not even a few days, like a couple days. And so I think I'm pretty much done with that whole situation because, you know, it's like super annoying to have basically a period for a month. <laughs> but I guess I didn't have a period for nine months and so it's fine. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry if this is TMI, but this is a postpartum video, so there you go. So speaking of birth control, not that it's anyone's business, but um, we are using birth control because I know so many people who have done IVF and then they get pregnant on their own after because they don't use birth control and they think, oh, well, because I couldn't get pregnant before, then I probably can't get pregnant, so I'm not going to use birth control. And then they miraculously get pregnant. So I am not ready to be pregnant again anytime soon. <laughs> um, we do want more kids. Yes, a lot of people have asked me that question but we are so content with Ray right now. We are so happy with just one. We do not need any more kids right now. So that is that situation. So as far as losing the baby weight goes, um, I have been cleared to work out now, so I'm gonna start working out. Um, I've been walking up until now, just going on some light walks, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to start walking a little bit more like more briskly and maybe starting to work jogging back in um, but pretty slowly and then um, I am gonna start lifting weights again as well as doing yoga I started doing some postpartum yoga just this week if you follow me on Instagram I kind of talked to you guys about that and it's been really good I do Sarah Beth yoga I did her prenatal yoga and now I'm do doing the postnatal stuff and it's really awesome because it really helps to slowly rebuild like the um, ab muscles and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get back into working out, but I am going to take it easy and try to like ease my way back into it. So I don't hurt myself or anything. Cause I don't want to like deal with that in, you know, having to recover from going too like far into exercise too early. Um, and also like things still feel a little bit like jelly. <laughs> in my abs. So, you know, like a lot of exercises you need your abs to do properly. And so I'm going to try and be as safe as possible, but I would love to be like totally back to my normal exercise routine within three months. That's kind of my goal, but we'll just see how my body reacts. So I never really talked about this because I didn't really know the numbers, the exact numbers of my weight gain um, in my pregnancy updates. Cause I just didn't want to bother with that. Um, so I actually gained 51 pounds, I think. If you talk about like pre-IVF, because for those of you who are new, I did IVF to get pregnant. So before IVF, before I went through all the fertility treatments, I was 118. 
and then by the time I got pregnant, I think I was 125. And then when I, um, I think my final weight was 176. Um, my final like pregnancy weight uh, that I saw. So I gained 51 pounds, which is ah crazy. Um, but at this point, I've lost almost 40 pounds. Um, yeah, that just came off pretty easily. Um, just after I had her and you know like the the swelling went down um so I have you know like a good 10 I'd say like 10 to 15 pound cause it, pounds because I think it was like 37 pounds technically that I've lost but I'm not like way concerned about the weight I really just want to feel fit and normal because I was before pregnancy before IVF really I was way fit and um just very active and I just want to get back to that um, and I'm feeling pretty good but I definitely don't feel as fit as I <laughs> was pre IVF I guess um, so I'm not too worried about the weight I'm just really trying to get active again um, and I know the weight will come off and I'll probably gain muscle back as well so I even though I might lose 15 pounds I might gain some weight too within that um, just because of muscle which is what I'm hoping for so like I said, I'm just not going to pay too much attention to the weight. Just, I just want to be really, really healthy and really fit. So I'm also thinking of starting the um, sweat app postpartum program because it really helps to like ease you back into things. Um, so if any of you have done that, it's the Kayla It Signs um, BBG thing, but she doesn't teach the, pro, the postpartum one. It's like a different girl on the app. Um, but if any of you have done that, I would love to hear your feedback and you can let me know in the comments below how that worked out for you because I think I'm going to sign up for that and um, yeah, help use it to help get me back to where I can really start working out again. And as far as diet goes, I'm not on any particular diet. I am eating much more similar to how I was eating before I got pregnant. When I got pregnant, all I wanted was junk and just, yeah. So I am eating more normal, like normal for me, which is fairly healthy. Um, I'm just craving my normal healthy diet, which is great because when I was pregnant, I was like craving McDonald's and crap. So it's not as fun for like Eric and my friends who want to eat fast food because I'm just not as fun. And I, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't want anything. So that's just how it is. But I am glad to be craving my normal diet and I'm just trying to figure out um, what's best for me to be eating as far as breastfeeding goes because that's all new to me and like how much to be eating. Sometimes I feel ravenous and then sometimes I, for the most part since I've given birth I feel like my appetite has been way lower than expected so I'm trying to like make sure I eat breakfast, make sure to drink a ton of water, that sort of thing. But um, I'm not really on a special diet or anything right now, just basically eating what I crave. I'm probably eating a little bit too much sugar. So I still kind of have my pregnancy sweet tooth. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, for the most part, just trying to eat healthy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just answer some questions that I got um, when I asked today over on my Instagram account, just about postpartum recovery and all that kind of stuff. So. We'll jump right into that. The first one is, what is my nighttime routine with Ray? Um, we follow the Moms on Call book, like I mentioned, so um, we just follow their nighttime routine. Um, and I'm also going to be doing um, a nighttime routine video. I think I'll film that, hopefully this week. Um, but it's essentially bath, and then they call it tender time, and then where you like sing pray, whatever, um, read a book and then we, they eat and then they go to bed. So, but I'll film that, like I said, hopefully this week. The next question is what is, what was the hardest part about recovery? I kind of touched on this a little bit already. Um, but probably just not staying up on my medications. My pain medications was the hardest part as far as physical recovery goes and then in the first two weeks it was just hard because you're tired um I was just feeling tired and like I said I was just feeling like a cow like all I did was 
nurse her and we were all just tired and I was sore and all that kind of stuff. So I'd say ultimately because I had a C-section, the hardest part was when I had a little mix up with my pain meds and I wasn't getting the right pain meds. So I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> that was the hardest part. This next question is, what do I wish somebody would have told me about recovery? Um, I wish someone would have told me to stay up on my pain meds. <laughs> Um, cause seriously, like, so if, if you guys, I think I talked about this in my labor and delivery story, but, um, they had me just on ibuprofen after a C-section because my doctor's order for, um, like the actual pain medication didn't go through. So I was just on ibuprofen, which, which was just for like the postpartum cramping that you get. Um, so that helped a little bit. Bit, but I was like in pain for two days and I thought it was normal. It wasn't until like the middle of the second night that I was like in a really just a lot of pain. Um, and I finally told my nurse and they realized the medication, the other pain medication hadn't been sent over by my doctor. Well, he had sent it over, but they didn't receive the order or something. So yeah, I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> um, cause I just got cut open and yeah, you need to be on medication after that. So Anyway, that's what I wish someone would have told me was it's not normal to be in that much pain so that I wouldn't have had to endure two days of a rough recovery. <laughs> so these next few questions I did get asked several times. Um, the first one is, did you get postpartum depression? No, um, at least not so, so far I haven't had it. I think you can still get it within your first year of um, postpartum, I guess. Um, but no, I didn't get it. I haven't gotten it yet. I was kind of worried because I have battled depression a little bit in the past. Um, anxiety was what I was more worried about because I've dealt with that a lot um, in the past few years. And so I was worried about like postpartum anxiety, but I really haven't, um, I haven't had any, any of that yet. So hopefully, you know, I don't get it, but yeah, I, I, I have been on high alert for it and I, you know, told Eric about how he needs to be watching me and my sisters and stuff and making, making sure that, um, you know, like those symptoms don't show up or if they do that we are aware and we get help for it because I think that's really important. This next question I did get asked a lot as well. And it, it is what, what are the best and worst parts of about bringing your new baby home? So like the best and worst parts of the last six weeks. Um, Gosh, the best parts are just, honestly, one of the best things is just that um, I know that I can make Ray happy. And that sounds, I don't know, whatever. But because I feed her and because I'm her mom and I'm with her most of the time, like, I know her cries. I know what she needs. And I just love that. Like, I love knowing that when she's crying in the morning when she wakes up, and she just has this really sad face because she's so hungry. I know that I'm gonna feed her and it's going to make her so happy. And that's just, I don't know, I just love that. It's really sweet. And I just love doing stuff together as a family. Like when we just go on a walk all together as a family, it's just, I don't know, it's just really sweet. The worst part um, in the past six weeks since bringing Ray home, just probably the recovery. Um, and in the first couple weeks, not getting enough sleep probably the worst part. Um, but even then I, I don't feel like it was that bad. Maybe I just built it up in my head to be really bad before I had her. And so my expectations, um, for sleep and all that kind of stuff were really low. And so because we're getting more sleep than I expected, I'm doing a lot better. I don't know. I wouldn't, I just don't feel like anything's been really that bad. And I'm so grateful for that because you know, it's just nice to have everything be going fairly smooth and recovering well and yeah just being really happy right now and soaking in all of the bliss somebody asked if i had any newborn purchase regrets and so far i only have one that i can think of and it's the um the swaddle the love i can't remember it's like the the arms up swaddle it looks like a little flying squirrel suit or something you know i don't know what those guys use that to jump off mountains and they're in those like suits. It looks like one of those and it's so they can put their arms up and in the Moms on Call book, they talk about how you should put the arms down. So we've always done our arms, put her, you know, in the swaddle, we've always put our arms down. So 
I have used the arms up swaddle once and I think it was in the hospital and it worked well then, but yeah, so that's probably my only regret that I can think of now, but I could probably think of more things and just add them to my newborn essentials video if I choose to do one of those. Okay, and this last question is, what items did I use for postpartum? And I didn't end up using the padsicles I made, so if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you know I made padsicles, I made a bunch of them, and I didn't, didn't end up using them <laughs> because I had a C-section. But I would say probably the number one thing that I, that was like a must have for postpartum was those nightgowns I've talked about on my Instagram from Walmart. Uh, because when you've had a C-section, at least for me, I didn't want any, I didn't really want to wear pants for like the first two weeks for sure. And even now I still don't like to wear, I haven't really worn jeans. Um, so those nightgowns are amazing and I still wear them and they are so comfortable and so amazing for breastfeeding too because they have zippers and you can just zip it down. Um, that's probably my number one must have for postpartum, but you definitely need pads, like lots of pads. So that's a must have. I did get the Depends and I used them like once or twice, but I just prefer using pads and just like big granny panties. I did like the hospital underwear too, that weird mesh underwear that they give you. That was nice. <laughs> um, and I think that's pretty much it for postpartum stuff. I can't really think of anything else like specific to postpartum items that I used um, other than those few things. So. All right, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, I would love it if you join this tribe here on YouTube and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you guys can follow along and you'll be notified as soon as I upload a video. I try to upload on Wednesdays and Sundays, but um, this whole new schedule of having a baby and working and balancing everything, <laughs> blending it all together um, is trickier. So I don't have as much time, you know, I'm just not making as much time for YouTube as I was before, but I do love making videos and I plan to to continue making videos and try to do the Wednesday, Sunday schedule, but we'll see how that, <laughs> how that pans out over time. Um, so yeah, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know of any comments you have down below. Let me know if you want, you know, the newborn essentials video and stay tuned for my nighttime routine and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.